first of all thanks for being here in my youtube channel so in this lesson number four on the topic clock now we are going to solve three to four question based on the concept called right angle so friends don't forget to watch the previous three lessons because only if you watch the previous three lesson you can able to understand this concept so you know what we have learned in lesson number one two and three right lesson number one usually they will give you some timings in the question by using the timings our target to find what is the angle between hour and and a minute and so this is the thing what we learned in lesson number one so lesson number two is together and lesson number three is in opposite direction where hour and and minute and should be in opposite direction where the angle should be 180 degree in lesson number three in lesson number two where the angle between hour and and a minute and should be zero degree because both the ands are together but here in this lesson number four both the ands of the clock should be right angle so what is the meaning of right angle then the angle should be 90 degrees yes or no usually we used to say this as right angle so here our target to find by using the question they in the question they usually give us some timings between two o'clock and three o'clock or 4 o'clock and 5 o'clock in that timing our target to find at what minute where both the ends of the clock are at right angle so friends listen carefully one important thing in this lesson number four is in all the previous three lesson we have got only one answer but here in this lesson number four usually if a question is based on right angle you will get two answers right for example let me take any timings right uh, between 2 to 3 let me take this example between 2 to 3 they are asking a question uh, in which minute where both the ends of the clock be right angle just listen carefully so what you guys need to do is first let me draw a small r and because between 2 to 3 so somewhere it going to lie where the r and will lie between 2 to 3 at some pointing somewhere else but remember that there are two possibilities right either this will be one possible the angle will be 90 degree right one possible or else there is an another possible like this so we will be getting two possible right so this will be answer number one and this will be answer number two this is also 90 degree right so remember one thing if you are solving a question that is based on a right angle you will get two answers right so after getting two answers definitely any one will be in the options so try to mark it right so all this stuffs are same what we learned in the previous lesson like note number one what I have taught you note number one is 55 minute spaces are gained by the minute and in 60 minutes I have given you a clear cut explanation the same logic that we are going to apply here only difference is we will be getting two answers that's it but everything is same so remember that what you need to do here is just take it as a step right so first step is draw r and right so this should be step number one right so r and is nothing but in the given timing two to three just point somewhere else the r and between two to three right so this should be your step number one step number two draw a perpendicular line understood so once you draw this r and draw a perpendicular line to the r and which represents the minute and understood so draw a perpendicular line so this perpendicular line represents the minute and then step number three find answer not one answer find both the answers right so first take this as possible one and take this as possible two so find the answer for possible one and find the answer for possible two that's it so if you follow this step properly then finding an answer for the question that is based on right angle will be very very simple understood so let me move on to three to four questions so that you can easily able to understand the concept question number one so here is the question at what timing between four o'clock and five o'clock the ends of the clock be right angle so our target to find between four and five at what minute the ends of the clock be right angle so friends just see here what is the step number one just now i have told you three steps if you follow that three steps properly then finding an answer will be very simple so step number one draw the r and right so first we can draw the r and just pointing somewhere between four to five because our target to find at what minute between four to five the ends of the clock be right angle so first draw the r and which point somewhere between four to five 
Step number two, draw a perpendicular line to the R and which represents the minute and right. Just see here, draw a perpendicular line. So this will be the perpendicular line. Understood? So draw a, just a perpendicular line. Sorry for not drawing exactly straight, but yes. So this will be the perpendicular line to the R and. So this will be one minute and and this will be another minute and. Understood? So this will be diagram one. Get one possible. And similarly, this will be another diagram, another possible. So that we can say one possible exactly 90 degree right angle and similarly another possible exactly 90 degree that's it if you find the answer for both the possible you will get the answer okay so let me take first possible here so first possible is just see here let me assume this as first possible and this will be the second possible right so 55 minute spaces are gained in 60 minutes so similarly second possible 55 spaces are gained in 60 minutes what we learned in the previous lesson so first possible, just see here, the minute and right from here, it moves 5 minutes. So after 5 minutes, definitely R and and minute and will be at 90 degree after 5 minutes, right? So here what you need to put is 5 is equal to X. Next, second possible, right? The minute and will move in this direction 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. After 35 minutes, definitely the R and and the minute and both will be 90 degree, right? After 35 minutes. So here you should put 35 is equal to X. That's it. All the things that I have taught you in the previous lesson. The same process. Only thing is we will get two answers. Because there are two possible if it is a right angle. So right? Understood. If you solve this, you will get both answer. And any one will be in the options, you can better mark it, right? So we can solve it. So x is equal to 60 into 5 divided by 55. So x is equal to we can cancel it. So 60 divided by 11. So divide this. So 60 by 11. 5 times 55. Right. So reminder will be 5. So finally answer for the first option is 5, 5 by 11. So past 4. First option what we got is. 4 o'clock, 5, 5 by 11th minute, where ants, both the ants of the clock will be exactly right angle. So similarly, let me solve the second possible. So x is equal to 60 into 35 divided by 55. So cancel it on 5 table, 11 times, cancel it on 5 table, 7 times. So x is equal to 42, 420 divided by 11. So divide this. So... This will be 3 times 33. So, reminder will be 9, 90, 8 times 88. So, so finally, 38, 2 by 11, past 4. So, this will be the second answer, right? Definitely, both the answers will not be in the option. Any one will be in the option. So, try to mark. Right. So this will be the answer for question number one. Right? Either the answer of the clock be right angle at this time or else at this time. Right. Four o'clock, five, five by eleventh minute, both the answer of the clock be at right angle or else uh, four thirty eight, two by eleventh minute, where the answer of the clock be at right angle. Right. Understood. So this will be the answer for question number one. Question number two. So at what time between 7 o'clock and 8 o'clock where both the ends of the clock be at right angle? So our target to find between 7 and 8 at what minute both the ends of the clock be at right angle, right? So what is step number 1? Step number 1 is to draw an R and, right? So just point somewhere between 7 to 8 which represents the R and. And the second thing is draw a perpendicular line to the R and which represents the minute and right. So if you need to draw a perpendicular line, you should not draw like this. It is not a perpendicular line. We are drawing a perpendicular line for the R and. So this should be the perpendicular line. Understood? So we can say this angle will be 90 degree one possible or else this angle will be 90 degree. We are getting two possibles. So that, let me take this as possible one and possible two. Right? Either you can take one and two, whatever be, but you are, but you, are, you need to get two answers. Remember that. So first, what we can do is we can take this as possible diagram one, and uh, 55 minutes spaces are gained by minute and in 60 minutes, and similarly possible diagram two, 55 minutes spaces are gained in 60 minutes. And second step, we need to check the minute and right. So from this point, the minute and first initially moves five, ten. 
15 20 so after 20 minutes definitely both the ands will be at right angle so after 20 minutes right so first option will be 20 is equals to x second option right so similarly the minute and will move from this direction 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 so after 50 minutes where both the ends of the clock will be at right angle after 50 right so what you need to put here is 50 is equal to x that's it if you solve both the equations you will get two answers and any one will be the right answer understood so x is equal to 60 into 20 so divided by 55 so x is equal to i think we can cancel it on 5 table 4 times 11 times 24 so 240 divided by 11 so divide this 240 by 11 so 2 times 22 so this will be 20 1 times 11 9 so finally we can say that answer will be 21 9 by 11 so past 7 so answer will be at 7 hours 21 9 by 11th minute both the ends of the clock be at right angle one answer so we can find the another answer too so x is equal to 60 into 50 divided by 55 cancel it on 5 table 10 times 11 times so x is equal to 600 divided by 11 so divide like this 600 by 11 5 times 55 so 50 4 times 44 so remaining will be 6 so finally we can say that 54 6 by 11 past 7 so this will be the second answer got it so first answer is for option number a first possible and second answer for the second possible right any one will be in the option so you can mark that right so the first answer is 7 hour 21 9 by 11th minute where ends of the clock be right angle or else 7 hour 54 6 by 11th minute both the ends of the clock be at right angle so this will be the answer for question number two last third question so at what time between 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock where ends of the clock be at a right angle so what is step number one i hope you understand after seeing two question i think you two can definitely solve this question on your own right so what is the step number one step number one is you need to draw an r and so remember that the timing should be 10 to 11 so definitely we can say that the r and will be somewhere between 10 to 11 pointing somewhere right you don't want to draw exactly just remember that between 10 to 11 they are asking a timings so it will be somewhere between 10 to 11 and step number two you should draw a perpendicular line to the r and right so remember that this will be the exact perpendicular line though so exact perpendicular line that's it understood so if this is the r and then this two will be the minute and so one chance either this should be 90 degree or else this can be 90 degree so we are getting two possibles so find the answer for both the possibles right so 55 minutes spaces are gained in 60 minutes so 55 is equal to 60 second possible again 55 is equal to 60 let we take possible diagram one just listen here from this point where the minute and initially moves 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 so after 35 minutes definitely the minute and, and r and will be at right angle right after 35 minutes so first option 35 minutes spaces are gained is equal to x second possible right so similarly from this point the minute and moves 5 minutes so after 5 minutes definitely both the ends will be at right angle after 5 minutes so here you need to put 5 is equal to x that's it so solve this so 60 into 35 divided by 55 here so x is equal to cancel it on 5 table 11 cancel it on 5 table 7 420 divided by 11 so i think we got an answer earlier that is uh, 38 2 by 11 so past 10 yes so if you divide 420 by 11 you will get this right so past 10 so 10 o'clock 38 to 2 by 11th minute where both the ends of the clock be at right angle so this will be answer number one so we can solve this second answer so x is equal to 60 into 5 divided by 55 so x is equal to 60 divided by 11 so x is equal to 5 5 by 11 so if you divide this you will get the answer 5 5 by 11 so 5 5 by 11 past 10 so this will be the second answer that's it 
So definitely any one answer will be in the option. Mark that. That will be the right answer. Understood? So when it's very easy, right? When compared to all the lessons, why it is easy? Because you know how to write this step. That's what I'm saying from lesson number two. Learn this step. It will be help you to solve most of the question and clock. So remember only one thing. In lesson number two, what we learned is both the ends of the clock be together, which is zero degree. Lesson number three, both the ends of the clock should be exactly opposite to each other, which is 180 degree. And now in lesson number four, ends of the clock should be right angle 90 degree. Understood? So this is the thing what we learned in lesson two, lesson three and lesson four. But solving all these three lessons is based on only one concept, note number one. 55 minutes spaces are gained in 60 minutes. That's it. That's the only reason I didn't teach you any formula for there is a formula but my request is not to learn the formula because if you learn the formula you need to learn one formula for lesson two you need to learn another formula for lesson three lesson four so it is useless right so better learn this concept you can apply for all the questions so friends that's it so try to take your own timings and try to check whether you are getting the answer or not after getting the answer search in the google you will definitely check whether your answer is right or wrong so friends thank you so much for watching this video and don't forget to watch the remaining lessons on the clock so thank you so much bye